is Mr. Moto. Mr. I. A. Moto. NBC presents the world's greatest international secret agent, Mr. I. A. Moto. Based on the popular Japanese character created by Pulitzer Prize winner John P. Marquand. Mr. Moto is fighting communism and its attendant evils. Quietly, courageously, constantly. Tonight's story, The Basilos Paper. Starring Mr. Moto. Mr. I. A. Moto. Everything in my training, my ancestry, and my soul revolted at the desecration of Commander Healy's grave. He was buried here in the American cemetery at Yokohama. The battle of paper had been buried with him, hidden in the heel of his right shoe. I had no choice but to rob his grave. With the help of Major Grant, on loan from the Occupation Army as my assistant, it was done quietly and respectfully. We dug silently from midnight until two in the morning. Fortunately, the cemetery in Yokohama is outside the city, and we were not disturbed. When Commander Healy's coffin was exposed, we bowed our heads. Our respect, Commander Healy. The paper is in the heel of the right shoe, Major Grant. Can't we risk a light? No, no. In Yokohama, even graveyards have eyes. Open the coffin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shall I just take it? Commander Haley has already given his life for his country. He would not doubt quibble at giving so small an item as his right shoe. Yes, remove it. Okay. <laughs> Here. Now, close the coffin. All right. You want to make sure the paper is in the shoe? I am sure. Let us get back to my hotel quickly. Fill in the grave, Major Grant, and let the earth fall gently. Heroes deserve repose that is undisturbed. Go ahead, Major Grant. Thanks. Everything has gone very, very well. I am very, very pleased. I don't mind telling you I'm glad it's over. Yokohama is a nervous city. Nervous city? It's more than that. It's evil. I can almost feel Luke Kayang watching us in that graveyard. Just thinking about that man gives me cold shivers. I know. He is probably the most evil man in the world. How can men like him get started, even, even in China? Opium, bandits, smuggling. He is rich. He can buy men to murder, terrorize, blackmail. Mr. Moto, just exactly what is the battle of paper? It affects the entire balance of power in the Pacific. The nation who owns it could send a submarine across the Pacific four times without refueling. Commander Haley had followed this paper all over the Orient. At last he found it, but the communists murdered him. Before he died, he told his servant where it was hidden. The servant told me. Now, have you a penknife? Yes, sir. Here. Thank you. Can you get the heel off? Yes. Ah. Major Grant, tonight the gods have smiled on our efforts. Is that it? Yes. Huh? But this is incredible. What? Here, read it. Oh, I can't read, Chinese. I was so very, very sure. Mr. Moto, what is it? What's the matter? This is not the battle of paper. Y you mean we... It says the paper itself is hidden in the house of Ma Fu Shan at Fu Yu. It is a village in China near Hong Kong. I... I have failed. Look, you did everything you could. I shall go to Fu Yu. Go. Are you nuts? Fu Yu is an enemy territory. I know that. If you'd be knocked off so fast, you wouldn't know what happened. I will not allow Lu Kai Yang and that... that woman to triumph. Remember, they haven't got it either. My mission was to get the battle of paper for the United States. I have failed. At the moment, it is hidden in a remote Chinese village. Until it is either in my possession or destroyed, I have failed. Major Grant. Yes. 
The Mariocca sails from Yokohama to Hong Kong in the morning. And the minute you got off at Hong Kong, you'd be dead. Get me a ticket, please. Komodo, this is so dangerous. I flew P-38s in the war. I'm not a coward, but... Well, I'm telling you, I've never been so afraid in my life as I've been the last three days. Luke Kayang is inhuman. This is pure terrorism. Major Grant, I am not asking I you... I know, to... I know, I know you're not, but... You think I'd let you tackle this alone? Thank you, Major Grant. Very, very much. You are a loyal friend. I'm not... Okay. Get our tickets and make the necessary arrangements. We will go aboard the Morioka as early as possible tomorrow morning. Mr. Moto, let's go down to our cabin. Staying on deck is dangerous. But the view of the dock is beautiful. We were followed from the hotel. The coolie? I know. We're walking right into their backyard. One foot outside the international settlement in Hong Kong, and we're dead. Just like that. Please, Major Grant, let us be cheerful. Cheerful? We are sailing from Yokohama, one of the most famous ports in the world. Mr. Moto. What is it? Quick. Turn your back to the gang Ah. I told you they wouldn't let us out of Yokohama. You Kayang? Yes, with about ten servants who look like professional wrestlers. And that Russian woman is with them. Have they seen us? It'll only be a matter of time. I will go instantly to the cabin. Join me there the moment they raise the gang I tell you, we're both going to end up as corpses in the middle of a China sea. <laughs> I don't think they saw me. Well? Lu Kayang will get to the crew. They're all Chinese. I'll tell you we're dead. Major Grant, we are on a Japanese boat bound for a city under British control. Most important of all, we are American citizens. And the whole darn crew, every one of them, is Chinese. Kayang's traveling with ten servants, and one of them is that big mute. Let us reconstruct what they are thinking. They believe I have the back of our paper. That is why they are following me. They will search this cabin. When they find nothing, they will assume I am carrying it on my person. They will not dare to attack me on this ship. They will wait until we dock in Hong Kong. Do you agree? No. If they search the cabin and don't find it, they'll toss you overboard. Lu Kayang will find some way of killing you. On or off the ship won't matter. Where is his cabin? Oh, he's traveling to Lux. A deck. Five cabins in a row. Ten servants. The Russian woman and himself. She is a mystery. Probably playing both sides against the middle. I am not sure she is Russian. She uh, calls herself Alexandra Karanska. She is what we would call at home a dish. Oh, yes, indeed. Garbo, Irene Dunn, Alola Massey all rolled into one. Find out if she knows it was not the passing off paper, but only a message. Just ask her. Come, come, Major Grant. You are 33, you are good-looking and strong. You will have no difficulty picking up an acquaintance in the bar. Talk to her. Find out if she knows that what we have... Is not the best enough paper. Major Grant, we have walked eleven times around this coast. Must we be so athletic? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you tired? <laughs> I see no point in ruining my feet. Let us stand here at the rear. All right. Well, night, isn't it? Very beautiful. Those must be the lights of Kawasaki. We will soon reach the Asumi Street. Yeah, I suppose so. Major Grant, may we drop the amenities now? What do you mean? You are traveling with Mr. Moto. After all, the Morioka is not the Queen Mary. Major Grant, I... I wish you would trust me. I do not want the Chinese communists to have a battle of paper either. Just whose side are you on? Was it in Commander Haley's shoe? Please tell me, did Mr. Moto get it? You don't know? If I did, I wouldn't ask. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to know. Thanks for a charming evening. If you'll excuse me, I'll just... You will come this way, Major Grant. Look, let's not be dramatic. You can't shoot guns off on a boat like this. Thanks. You'd have the whole ship in an uproar. Quit acting like a flea bit and matter, Harry. <clears throat> Holy cat. Oh. 
Victor Chang. He is a mute. His tongue was torn out in the wrestling competition at the Imperial Palace in Nanking. He has been known to break a man's neck quite silently in four seconds. Abeck is quite the best. That, uh, won't be necessary. Mm. Need to grant you a chance. This way, if you please. Oh, are we going visiting? Lu Kayan would like to talk to you. Say, his parties must be doozies, huh? The uh, guests don't turn up, he just breaks their neck. You have quite a sense of humor, have you not? This door, please. Go ahead. Stay along the fun. If he lays a finger on me, I tell you, I'll scream his boat down. Oh, Major Grant, I presume. You do. But I won't argue about it. And look, would you mind asking Buster here to stop breathing down my neck? It reminds me of rope for cheese. Ching, what You and Alexander have had a visit? I do not think they have got it. Did you find out? No. Let's see. Major Grant, this is all very, very dangerous. I bear no ill will towards you or Mr. Moto, but I mean to have that paper. If you were not an American citizen, I would have you stabbed and thrown overboard. Instead, you will give me your passport. Try and get it. Ching, Tung Chuan Guayang. You come near me, you big ape. I tell Alexandra, will you go through the barbarian's pocket? To touch him makes me ill. Even the smell of him is disgusting. Yes, here it is. Here are the pages. Excellent. The most effective way of preventing Major Grant from disembarking at all in Hong Kong. And now, Alexandra, you may work on Mr. Moto without interference. Begin immediately. Oh, and, uh, Alexandra. Yes? The man who holds the bottle of paper also holds the Pacific. I intend to have it. I intend to be that man. I know you would not be so foolish as to... To what? No, you would not. Otherwise, I would turn you over to Chen. Look, I am. Please. Now you may begin on Mr. Moto. Go. Mr. Moto, let me in, please. Ah, let me in quickly. They may be watching. What I am doing is so dangerous. So dangerous. The beautiful Russian. I am not Russian. I was Russian. You were Russian. My real name is Sonia Bazalov. Ah, Bazalov? Peter Bazalov was my father. The Bazalov paper belongs to me. I was right. You are playing both the sides against the middle. My father and I got out of Russia when I was a little girl. He didn't think the regime could last. It did last. Hey, they wanted him, a scientist, to invent according to the party line. As if molecules were cognizant of politics. We escaped. And he took the bottle of paper with him. With all he had, all he was able to say. I am so very, very interested. Please, go on. Always the helmet. From Moscow to Paris to New York to Buenos Aires. Then finally to Shanghai. Always the secret police were two steps behind us. One night, when I was visiting with friends, they broke into our house. In Shanghai? Yes. They beat my father so badly that he died. He gave the basil of paper to a faithful Chinese servant named Mafushan. Mafushan took it to Commander Haley. When he left Commander Haley's hotel, he was shot. The next morning, Commander Haley was also murdered. Lu Kayang had them killed. You are making muddy water clear, my child. I've got to get it, Mr. Mordo. I have no money, no country. The basil of paper is all I have, and it rightfully belongs to me. I knew Lu Kayang had you and Major Grant watched the night you opened Commander Haley's goodie. Please tell me, did you get it? This battle? Please, in the name of heaven, don't call me that. Karanska. Miss Karanska, what have you done with Major Grant? Lu Kayang has him tied up in one of the cabins on Ada. Can you release him? I dare not. You must. Lu Kayang will kill you. He's suspicious now. Go get me to Chang it up. Oh, 
I'm so tired. I'm so tired and so crazy. I will make a bargain with you. I will tell you where the battle lock paper is hidden. You will. Provide it. I arrive safely at the Imperial Hotel in Hong Kong. Somehow. Somehow you must get off this boat before we dock. Suppose we begin by your securing Major Grant's release. You do not have the conception of what you ask me to do. It's like making love to death. To horror. You want to know where the paper is. I need Major Grant's help to get off this boat. It is a fair exchange. All right. I'll do the best I can. Let us hope, my child, you exceed your best. Otherwise... Otherwise... The battle of paper will be lost to the world. Forever. Her exquisite chiseled face was white with terror. Rightly or wrongly, I believed her. The muddy Oka surged through the black night and the phosphorescent South China Sea. By noon the next day, he was approached quite close to the south coast, and I could see from my portal the ceaseless, teeming world of China, with its poverty, its despair, its communism. There were launches, tugged, Chinese junks under sail, moving ponderously under great banks of brown canvas, slatted with bamboo. By three, we were entering the approaches to Hong Kong Harbor. In another two hours, we were stuck, and still no word from Major Grant. The beautiful Russian had either failed or lost her nerve. I stripped down to nothing but my trousers and resolved to wait until the last possible moment for Major Grant. <coughs> Who is it? It's me, Grant. <sighs> You are all right? Yes. The girl got me out of the house. Made up a story about my having a heart condition. Told Luke Kayang that if I died, the whole U.S. Navy would want to know why. He tore up my passport. He tore up your passport? The girl did the pairing. Luke Kayang gave the orders. Mr. Moto, without a passport, I'll be on this boat for life. Mr. Major Grant, very careful. I suppose that at this moment, the battle of paper is one of the most vital pieces of information in the world. Every foreign agent in Europe has been after it for months. The whole balance of power in the Pacific hangs on this one piece of paper. I have got to get it. First, you've got to get off this boat. I intend to jump overboard. Jump overboard? Now listen carefully. Man, you'll drown. I'll be crazy. You can't jump overboard. We are less than a mile from the the boat. Please do not interrupt. I will swim ashore and make my way to the international settlement. Then I will register at the Imperial Hotel. Right. Then I will go to Sir John Redding at the British Embassy. He can easily arrange for an American citizen to disembark in Hong Kong without benefit of passport. He will have somebody from the embassy meet the Morioka when it docks and see that you get ashore safely. Okay, what's next? The message that the battle of paper was hidden in the house of Ma Fu Shan at Fu Yu. Ma Fu Shan has a son living in Hong Kong. I will visit him. While I am doing this, yes. call on Sir John Redding at the British Embassy yourself. What for? Tell him the whole story, everything. You can trust him completely. All right, then what? Ask him if we can borrow a plane, any kind of a plane. You mean we'll fly to fool you? If that is where the battle of paper really is. But it says that in the message, the house of Ma Fu Shan in Fu Yu. I suspect the message we found in Commander Haley's shoe is a lie. But... Uh, Never mind why. I will find out from the son of Ma Fu Shan. Now, give me your rubber tobacco pouch. Look, I, I, I just don't think. Give it to me quickly, Major Grant. It is watertight. Thank you. Now, the paper... Good. You will have to carry my passport. Right. Some money? Um, here. Good. Now, open the portal. Are you sure you can swim that far? I would rather drown than lose the battle of paper. Open the portal. Right. Do not worry, Major Grant. We will dine together at the Imperial Hotel this evening. Help me up, please. I, I'm sure glad I'm with you, not against you. I can just get through... Sometimes it is good to be small. Mr. Moto, look! Wait out for the one! Mr. Moto, I am Lu Kayang. 
Welcome to my humble house. The lunch might have killed me. Life is cheap in the Orient. I thought you might attempt something like this. I arranged to have my launch follow the Morioka from the moment she entered the Hong Kong estuary. You have been bathed and fed. You are standing before me in my clothes. The lowly of Chinese coolie would have bowed and thanked me. However, you have already sung for your supper, Mr. Moto. We found the message in your tobacco pouch. Here is the pouch. Your money is still in it. Thank you. My chauffeur will now drive you to the Imperial Hotel. The clothes you may consider as the grateful gift of Lu Kaiyang. Miss Batanoff, you are looking very beautiful. You promised, Mr. Moto, to give me the message if you got safely to the Imperial Hotel. You are here. I released the American. I've kept my part of the bargain. Now tell me, please. Major Grant will be here directly. He is arranging for a plane. But the message, you promised. The message in Commander Healy's shoe said that the Batanoff paper was hidden in the house of Ma Fu Shan at Fu Yu. Ma Fu Shan's son lives in Hong Kong. I have talked with him. The message is a lie. Ma Fu Shan... Never lived in Fu Yu. He lived at a farm village, Wang Ten, a few miles outside of Chinchao. Yes. Yes, Wang Ten. I know it well. Excellent. Well, I got it. God bless the British Empire. A plane? It'll be warmed up and waiting for us at six tomorrow morning. Excellent. Very, very good. By the time Lu Kaiyang discovers the message is a lie, we will have the Battle of Paper ourselves. Before we go any further, will somebody please tell me exactly what the Battle of Paper is? Miss Battle of? If you please. Basil? Yes. I am his daughter. My father worked for crude petroleum, Major Grant. He invented a catalytic process of cracking crude oil so that one gallon will do the work of three. The Basil of paper is a chemical analysis of this process based on the Schweizer formula. It enables an oil-driven battleship or a submarine to cruise almost indefinitely without refuel. Wow. Now, quickly, Major Grant... The map. Yes, I got them. Wang Ten is near Chinchao. There, along the line of the Mukden Chinchin Railroad, we will fly over the sea to the Po Hai Gulf. Otherwise, we will be shot down by the communists. A necessary risk. Then inland to the village. Miss Bassanoff, once we have landed, how long will it take us to locate the house of Mafu Shan, get the paper, and return to the plane? Oh, the village is small. Ten minutes. Major Grant will be our pilot. The plane is adequate? The best. We take off at six in the morning, then. Is it not very, very nice that American and British are such very, very good friends? We flew without incident to the village of Wang Ken in three hours. The sight of us appearing so suddenly from the sky brought out the entire village. The simple, kind faces watched us eagerly. Major Grant stayed with the plane. A man took Alexandra Bakilov and me quickly to the house of Mafu Shan. It reminded me of a peasant house in fact. The floor was mud. There was a stove made in Illinois. A crude wooden dresser with cooking utensils. Mafu Shan's nephew, Sui Dam, took the paper from its hiding place and gave it to us. If you please, Mr. Moto, sir, I will hand paper only to daughter of Badalaf. Thank you, Swai. Leave us. If soldiers have seen plane, it will soon be too late to leave at all. We will hurry. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Moto. Goodbye? I am staying here. This house is quiet. I am tired. Then give me the paper. No. Give it to me. 
keep away. Not in the stove. Don't burn it, I bet you. Give it to me. No. I will pay you one million dollars. No. In American money. No. No one will have it. I am sick of war. Sick, sick, sick of it. All my life there has been guns and murder and terror and misery. My father invented this thing for peace. Miss Bethlehem, not in the stove. Please. I tell you, there can be no more guns, no more soldiers, no more battleships. For all of history, men have been fighting. Kill, kill, kill. Murder for freedom, murder for religion. But kill, always kill. The world has gone insane, Mr. Roto. And my father will not contribute to that paranoia. There is not enough money in the world to buy this paper. Father, I burned it for you. Only for you. I... I think your father would approve. Hmm. Now at least, no one will have it. My mission is not a failure. Miss Bachelor, that was a very brave, brave thing for you to do. An unselfish thing. Hmm. To know you... And to be your friend has been very, very pleasant. You have just heard the world's greatest international secret agent in the Basiloff paper. James Monk starred as Mr. Moto. The script was written and directed by Harry W. Junkin, produced by Carol Irwin. The cast included Bernard Grant, Connie Lemke, and Ross Martin. The music was transcribed. This is Fred Collins speaking. And now, may the moon be your comfort along the gentle river of sleep. May your dreams be blessed with beauty charmed with enchantment.